guys, the humble southpaw here with blacksmith high precision fingerprint two pistol safe. I know that's a mouthful, but um, <laughs> been practicing on that one. Uh, just real quick, guys, I am fighting my allergies over the last couple weeks, so I apologize if there's some sniffling and some <clears throat> clearing of my throat. But if I don't do some videos, it'll be another couple weeks or a month before I can get it with all these. The pollen is still crazy here. Um, but let me go ahead. I found this on Tool of Dens. Uh, so he did a review on it. It was something he had out there as a deal of the week. So decided to pick it up and give it a shot. I was looking for another safe to have. And, and honestly, this thing has met all my expectations, you know. And I've mentioned in other videos, I used to work for uh, FFL, a retail store, and did all the retail management stuff. And, you know, dealt with vault Tech which is high-end quality stuff. And this one here is really good. I mean, it's a budget price, it's on sale, and I'll put in the uh, description an affiliate link plus a coupon to get ten an additional $10 off. But they're very happy with this. Um, so let me just go ahead, and the key thing they say is a four, it's four ways to access the safe, and it's really three, and I'll get deeper into it, but let me just go ahead and through the specs here. Um, I did weigh this thing, weighs about 10 and a half pounds, so it is hefty. Um, the exterior, the length is about 13 and a half inches. The, 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 depth, the width is about 11, and the depth is about three and a half. Now, in, internally, it goes down to about 10 and a half inches by seven inches by two inches in, in depth there. So, it, you know, it does sit there. They say this is a two pistol. Uh, safe, I question that. I mean, if you're going to put in maybe a 365, a 365 XL, and maybe an LCP Max or two revolvers, yeah, it'll get you can get two in here. But using a full size or compact size handgun, it's not. It's only going to be one. I tried putting the TP9 SF Elite and the 320 compact, and I think it's just to carry, um, and they would not fit. <clears throat> Which is fine, even a 19, a full size 1911 will not fit. But for home defense, you know, you know, kind of rule of thumb is to have a you know full size so you have that good line of sight and all that. So, but the nice thing is here with this, you know, you put one of those in, you can carry put an extra mag in there, you could put a flashlight, uh, you could put a knife in there. So, you have other things you can add to that and all that. So, it's not a big deal in my perspective. It's, it gives me some more functionality, so I can't put two guns in there unless I carry something small. But what you're going to get with this, other, you know, everything I said here, you're going to get the user manual, so how to set up the codes, how to do the fingerprint and all that. You'll get mounting screws. I'm not sure. They're not the best. And they give you two. There's only two preset drill holes in the back. Um, they're not very deep. They're not, you know, they're just okay. I guess they feel like they can say they give you that. But yeah, you're probably going to want to change those out. You'll get two sets of keys. You'll get a USB cable. And I'll show you further on that. Like I said, it has three ways to access plus an aux. It's really an auxiliary power backup. And then you're going to get a security cable. <clears throat> Looking at this, there was nothing. No specs on this, but I mean, it looks like your standard that you would get with your Hornady, you know, your basic little uh, travel uh, lock uh, safe that you would put in your car. So I'm thinking this is about a 1500 pound PSI pressure. So we're cutting it. So it is nice. And we'll go through setting this all up. Oh, and before I forget, these guns have been checked. They are empty. There is, you know, no magazines in them or anything like that. So just they're here for display and then there's to show how they well they fit in this safe. So just cover myself here. Um, so let me just go ahead. Like I said, it has three ways to access. You got your fingerprint, you got your combination here, and then you have your key access. So trying to do things here. Opens nice. It has a pneumatic piston in here that lifts things up. Um, the keypad here. I have not changed it from the factory uh, combination here. And in a second, I'll do 
the fingerprint, I'll take it, everything down, get it level. But looking at this thing, I've looked. There's no exposed hinges. There's nothing that they can really get in here and pry. So I'm just go ahead and move this out of the way. So I, it's really well constructed. I mean, I found nowhere where they could really break this apart. It's sturdy. Like I said, 10 and a half pounds and all that. So also a couple other features. It has a silent mode. So like you, you hear that beeping when you're doing the combination, you can silence that. So basically, you know, this way, if you have an intruder in the house and you're accessing your safe, they won't know that you're doing it. They won't know you're awake or anything like that. And even with the fingerprint, you'll hear, I think, some beeping. So let me just show you. It has worked flawlessly. Now this will hold 20, 20 fingerprints. I've only done the one. But the response time has been excellent. I've been playing with this all along. Um, oh, and the other thing you will get is four batteries. They're just a no main brand. You might want to change them out. It's up to you. It also has a light inside, so it'll light up the inside of the safe. So very nice, very nice features. Uh, the cable here, normally you'll see, oh. yeah, let's screw this. Yeah, normally the, in a lot of them you have like, you just latch it in when you lock it, it holds this cable in place. There's a little bit different. Gives you the opportunity to thread it around whatever you want. And then you're going to, and I'm trying to do this upside down. And then you're just gonna, screw it and then that'll hold it in there. You know, you can get it as tight as possible, so there's really no leverage in there. So there we go. So that's that, and then it's secured. It's not super long, but definitely will do the job. Um, like I said, and let's just go on here as I got it open. Like I said, it really only holds one handgun and then everything else. Again, these are not loaded. And this is my Canik TP9 SF Elite. And hopefully you guys can see that there's just no way, even if I try to put this in here, it's just not even, a, you know, playing Tetra in here, it's not going to fit. So, but I mean, it's room for an extra mag, a knife, you know, flashlight. Now this gun has a light, so, um, but still you want an extra flashlight in there. Same thing with this one. Again, plenty of room, put an extra mag and all, whatever accessories you want to add to that. So this has been an excellent purchase. I'm glad I did. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I always got a little nervous, you know, even with my phone doing the fingerprint things, it doesn't always seem to work. And then you watch other reviews of other safes and they're saying, ah, oh, it doesn't work. It will, you know, this one so far, I have to give it a thumbs up and I'll give you another great response time. It works, uh, has not been an issue and all that. And I'm not sure if I remember going through this, but right here next to the key slot is the USB port. So basically if you have this and you don't have your keys on you and all of a sudden the battery is dead, you know, if you're taking this, if you're traveling or whatever, and this you plug in here, plug it you know, just like a phone charger or anything like that. And it will power this up to give you access to the combination or the fingerprint mode. So it's a nice feature. Um, definitely was surprised to see this on that. And I think this was kind of what sold me on it. Now, how often will I use it? I don't know. But we all have, you know, phone charges on us or a battery backup thing. So this will plug into that. So, I mean, you put this in your everyday carry bag. If you're traveling, it's a definitely a nice feature. Like I said, it's solid construction. It's about 10 and a half pounds, but definitely would recommend this. And like I said, guys, I'll provide an affiliate link below with a $10 off coupon. So, hey, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you like, like the channel and like what I'm doing here, I'm trying to provide a South Pole's perspective on firearms and EDC gear. I know this is not really, it's not a South Pole perspective item like a gun would be but 
you know, I want to add some other variety of things here. So please join if you like that. I'm working on some other reviews on some other firearms and all that. So uh, I just did drop a short on the Rost Martin R RM1C. Go ahead and check that out, guys. So, all right, please subscribe, share it, and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, be safe.